Hello and welcome to the video on creating an XML document using C++. Let's have a look at an XML document. What I've done is I've created an XML document inside my folder C My Files. And if you remember from the last video, that's where I had my stuff INI was there. So let's look at what an XML document looks like. I've got one players.xml. Well, first of all, it has the extension. It means the extensible markup language. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open it with Notepad. And when I open it with Notepad, here's what I see I see tags, that is, with the less than sign and the greater than sign. Uh, that look like they're HTML tags. And in fact, there's no difference between these and HTML tags, except these tags should be self describing. If I see this tag here, it says game NPCs, meaning game non playing characters. This is an opening tag because it has nothing, there's no uh, forward slash in front of it. Down here is the closing tag for NPCs, game NPCs, because it has a forward slash in front of it. So between this game NPC opening tag, NPCs, and the game NPCs closing tag, this is the information that the XML document contains. Now, let's see the information it contains. Here's an opening tag for non-playing character. I look for the closing tag for non-player character. It's right here. So that tells me everything in between the opening tag for non-playing character and the closing tag for non-playing character, non-player character, is about an NPC. And if I look, there's the ID 101. The name is Gorky. The sex is M for male. The race is Orc. The type is Fighter. The age is 45. The hit points are 205, and the mana is 200. And I see that for every opening tag I have, I give the data and then I have a closing tag. Here's the opening tag for hit points. I give the data, 205 hit points, and then I close it with a forward slash hit points. This is how an XML document is constructed. If I look here, here's an opening tag for another NPC. It's closing tag. That means all the stuff in between this opening and closing tag for NPC is going to be about another non-player character. The ID is 102, the name is Stella, female, she's an elf, she's a mage, her age is 25, she's got 129 hit points and 100 mana. And if I come down here, I see another opening tag for NPC and a closing tag for an NPC. This is about another non-player character. Different ID, this is Norco, he's a male, he's an elf, he's a mage, he's 148 years old, he's got 800 hit points and 400 mana and so on. So I could keep adding things in. I could keep adding more and more non-player characters. And then uh, the game, the game that uses this XML document, it will use this information about the characters in the game. And there could be hundreds of characters in the game, so there would be uh, hundreds of, of, of these uh, different lines. Now generally, when a game uses an XML document, it modifies the XML document for its own use to make it easier to use. Generally, XML documents in uh, a game do not have a root element. It just makes it easier for them to add things on, as you'll see. So they'll take away the root element. When we do that, by definition, it's really not a true XML document. But it will still be called an XML document by the game people, which is fine. It, as long as it works for us, it's cool. As long as we don't, as long as we understand that by definition, by technical definition, strict def technical definition, it's not a true XML document. But for right now, we don't care. So here we see we have effectively one, we've got two, we've got records on three different NPCs. So let's just save this guy, and we'll we'll close it. Okay, or actually, let's just bring it over here, see what we got. And here's my folder that I have it, and I'm going to minimize it. And now let's look at our code and see what our code, how our code is going to write that XML document. We've got a class called getNPC. All right, that's cool. Let's look at the class definition. Holy mackerel. It goes all the way down to there. There's the class definition of get 
uh, NPC. We see it's private. We have fstream my file. This open this is opening up uh, the mode so that we can do file writing. And here we have an integer which has good grief uh, all these uh, all these uh, different. Um, uh, properties an ID and age and hit points and a mana and then we got string string name string sex string rate string type all of these here should look familiar because these are the things that I want to include in my uh, XML document the ID the name the sex the race the type the age the hit points and the mana and all of that stuff here is a uh, a member uh, of my class uh, called uh, get NPC this is private so I can't get to it I have store data which is also private and what kind of data is are it storing well first it's going to open the file my files players.xml right and that's where this is located okay it's located in my files and it's players.xml that's what I want so there it is here what's different between this application and the previous one is I do have an IO stream out that means I'm taking information from the C++ program and I'm putting it out somewhere. But I also have this this vertical line, which is right over the uh, backslash key on the keyboard, and I have IO stream append. That means what it's going to do to the XML file, it's not going to overwrite this XML file. It's going to append new information in this XML file right down here. So obviously, if I add another NPC, it's going to append that information down here. And what it's going to do, the very first thing it's going to do is put a tag in there called NPC. And isn't that what I need to do first if I'm going to add a new player? Yeah, of course. That's the first thing. And then it has a carriage return. Okay. And then the next thing it's going to have is the ID, right? There's the ID with a carriage return. Let's move this over here so you can see the carriage returns. All right, there's the opening tag for ID, there's the closing tag for ID, and in there is whatever data I have for ID. Same thing with name, opening tag, whatever the name is, and then the closing tag with the uh, new line character. And the opening tag for sex, whatever sex is, closing tag with the new line character. Just like I have over here for the, for the sex, okay? And I gotta move this over here to make sure you can see it, okay? And so all of these are actually setting up the XML document. All I need to do is get the data for these different um, for these different properties. So the, and the last tag it puts in is the closing tag for NPC, okay, and and then the new line, and then it closes the file. Now if I look here, I see this is now public. And this method is called get data. So this is the only public method that I have here. And what this is doing, this is actually getting the data for the NPC ID, the NPC name from the, from the the player. You know, it's going to be up there. I got to put it in: sex, male or female, the race, what's the race type, uh, the type of the person, uh, you know, whether they're a fighter or what what are you, and their age, uh, uh, their their hit points and their mana. And then what it does once it gets this this information it calls the method store data well where is the method store data it's right up here store data it's a private method that can only be accessed from the class well why do I do that that's so when I come down here in my main program where I where I instantate get NPC with my NPC the only thing I can do with get data is first I am forced to put in information then that information can get stored. What this does, this prevents the, 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 the programmer from storing something that doesn't have any data in it or just has garbage. I've got to put something in here before I can store it. So that's where we're going. So let's see how, how this is going to work. I'm going to go here and I'm going to compile this and the very first thing I got is what is the NPC ID. Well, I have to remember what the last one is, so I'm going to put in 104, and then I'm going to press the Enter key. And the NPC name is is call, call him uh, uh, Meanie, M-E-A-N-I-E. -E. This would be a bad dude, a bad dude here. And then the sex, well, if he's a bad dude, he's got to be male. Uh, the sex is going to be uh, male here. 
I can't get, yeah, there we go. And then the race is going to be, say, human. Okay. Uh, M, H, U, my M key isn't where, H, U, M, A, N. I got a stuck M key here. And my NPC type, let's put him as a, um, uh, what do you want to make him? Uh, a fighter, F, I, G, H, T, E, R. Okay. And then what's his age? Well, how about we make his age uh, uh, 29, okay? And then what's his hit points? Well, let's make him pretty tough, 600, how's that? And then what's his mana? Ah, uh, let's say he has 120 mana, okay? And that's it, everything closed. All right, so what that means is that, uh, what that means is that it came down here and it went to store data. All the data was stored and it closed the file. So let's go over here and see if anything's changed. Well, it hasn't because I have to refresh this. So what I'm going to do is close this. And I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to come over to Players XML. And I'm going to open with Notepad. And when I open it, what do I see has been appended? Another NPC. And who is it? Hey, it's Meanie. It's the dude whose data we entered. So there he is, his uh, uh, meanie with all of his cool data. Uh, we've got his uh, name, his sex, his race, the fighter. And remember, we had the, the M key was stuck with the human. And then age 29 hit points and so on. So this is a way that we can now use C++ to store data in an XML file. And being able to do this is really pretty heavy du duty stuff for games. Now, you might say, well, that's really neat. How do I read the data from an XML file to use it in my games? Ah, you guessed what the next video is going to be about. It's going to be about parsing, P-A-R-S-I-N-G, an XML file. This was about uh, creating information that goes into an XML file. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.